So this is my Coleman sleeping bag. I've had it for a long time. Just washed it. Turned out really great. The foot end here was pretty dirty and it's now it looks brand new. Smells good. Looks good. The only problem is I can't get the zipper started. Try to try to get the zipper together and it just won't it just won't go. So I'm going to try a few things. I put some chapstick on the teeth just right down here in the in the bottom at the start here and that hasn't helped. So I'm going to try some soap. So what I did is I took some olive oil and a Q-tip and I just rubbed the olive oil on the zipper here and then I got I was able to get the bottom so I just, just put a lot of olive oil right from the, the beginning of the teeth here. And I was able to get the zipper started. And then I was able to get the other zipper. So I got the zipper locked down at the bottom. And now I've got the now I've got the, the second zipper. It's here. So now it works. Two zippers. They both zip all the way to the top. All the way to the bottom i can take them off so the olive oil seemed to do the best job i didn't try the soap and uh, chapstick i put some chapstick on but it, it was still tough to to get this first first zipper going here so that seemed to work one trick when uh, zipping especially on something with a really thin nylon fabric here like this is to put one Put one finger underneath here. There's a second, second pole underneath there. There's two poles. There's that one, and there's that one. Just get one finger underneath there. Keep your finger underneath there. That will guide. That'll help keep that that extra fabric or the, the extra material out of the teeth. And then, then you can zip up, zip up your thirty-year-old Coleman hollow fill sleeping bag this this sleeping bag is so warm it'll keep you hot in on top of mount everest but it's a good sleeping bag no need to buy a new one